Make it plain. Good afternoon and welcome to Behind the Rhyme. I'm Pat Middleton. And today I will be sharing uh, an original poem inspired by God and written by myself. I'm also going to share the testimony, the scriptures, and the story behind the rhyme. Today's poem is titled, Another Day, Another Chance. And the format, if this is your first time listening, I will share the poem. Then I will share the story, testimony, and scriptures behind the rhyme. And then I will share the poem once again. And then I will end with uh, one or two uh, worship songs that are in concert with the theme of the poem. Another day, another chance. Another day, another chance for me to start my day. Another day, another chance in worship and in praise. Another day, another chance, a gift from God above. Another day, another chance, he'll prove to me his love. Another day, another chance for God to forgive sin. Another day, another chance to let Jesus come in. Another day, another chance to seek God out in prayer. Another day, another chance to cast on him every care. Another day, another chance to lift my voice and sing. Another day, another chance to give thanks in everything. Another day, another chance to win lost souls for Christ. Another day, another chance to tell how he saved my life. Another day, another chance that Satan will have to flee. Another day, another chance that I have the victory. Another day, another chance, and if I finish this race, another day, another chance to see his blessed face. Another day, another chance. That poem was written after uh, another time that God saved my life. And not only my life, but the life of my children as well. He truly saves us uh, spiritually from salvation, uh, with salvation from sin, death, and hell. And he also saves us daily from dangers seen and unseen. This was an unseen danger that I had no idea was happening to me and my children. I'm a single parent, and although right now my children are grown and on their own uh, over the hill of 40, uh, they're twins, and uh, well-established in their lives and careers and family life, but back at the time of the, I wrote this poem, they were teenagers, and I was a single parent, you know, um, new home owner, maybe a little, little more than a year. No, uh, four years. I was a three or four years new homeowner and, um, you know, handling the bills myself uh, as a single mother, uh, working full time at the time for Ma Bell and uh, serving the Lord in ministry on several auxiliaries. My children were both very active in their respective high schools. And uh, so life was just continuing. The Thanksgiving had just passed and we were, their birthdays had just passed and we were somewhere in the middle of, uh, beginning middle of December of that year. And uh, my daughter and I suffer from uh, various types of allergies. She allergies me sinuses. And so we began to have these headaches, uh, but we didn't think anything of it because You know, she has allergies and sinus issues and I had sinus issues. Now, both of us, for that reason, year round, keep our windows cracked because of fresh air. I've always kept my window cracked year round, even in the winter. My my window is cracked slightly. And so my son, though, no problems with sinuses, no need to keep his window cracked. He was having headaches as well, severe headaches as the days went on to the point where this, you know, big strapping junior ROTC young man, teenager began crying 
uh, his head was hurting him so bad. And I realized that it was only when we were in a certain room or only when he was in his bedroom. And so I said to myself, well, maybe let me go and buy a car. Uh, oh, one of my, um, somebody I knew, I was, I went on this bus trip to, um, Lancaster to see the, one of the sight and sound plays. And one of the people I was telling them about the headaches that we were all having. And they said, well, it sounds like carbon monoxide. Do you have a carbon monoxide detector? And I was like, no. So they said, oh, you need to go and get one and plug it in and see if that's what it is. And I was like, mm -hmm, okay. But when I got back home, I did. I went and purchased one, plugged it in within an hour. The uh, detector went off. There was carbon monoxide in my home. So I immediately called the gas company. They sent someone out. They sent, I think they sent the fire department out or somebody out. And they did a test and they say, yes, carbon monoxide is escaping from your chimney. So when they went and they said, you have to find somebody to come and service your chimney, turn the um, furnace off and um, go and do that right away. So I did that. Come to find out there were uh, a, couple of, a couple of squirrels had fallen down into the chimney and died and were and was blocking the uh, whatever escapes from your chimney when you have a uh, gas uh, heat like that. And so it was backing up into the house in the form of carbon monoxide. And certainly there have been numerous news stories over the years of a family and entire families being found dead from carbon monoxide poisoning. And so God Dangers, literally, the danger was unseen. It's it's in the air. It's unseen danger. But he covered us and kept us and protected us in that house. Hallelujah. And so, you know, in the midst of my worship and praise over the next few days after I took care of things and had to replace the uh, screen on the top of the chimney, if my memory served me correctly, this is over 20 years ago. And so, um, and in and, and the days that followed of praising and praying and thanking God and giving my testimony, he blessed me with this poem. Certainly the scriptures uh, plainly tell us that um, God is our refuge and strength, Psalm 45 and one, a very present help in the time of trouble. He's a present help. He's not help that you have to call. Like I call the gas company and I call the, somebody to service the chimney and I wait for them to arrive. He was a present help, even though I didn't realize it yet. He was preserving our lives, preserving our, our lives literally until we could get that help we needed. Had me to go on the bus trip, had the person to be sitting next to me have the information on what to tell me to buy. You know, as, as a young woman, even though I, I could purchase a home and raise my children, there were still things I didn't know. Every year you're supposed to service your chimney. You know, certain things you, you, you learn as you go along. And certainly that was one of the things that I learned early on. But God, but God, but God, he covered us. He protected us. He kept us from dangers seen and unseen. And this poem, Another Day, Another Chance, was the result of that. Certainly, the scriptures also tell us, and I do have a couple of scriptures here, namely, uh, one we quote all the time, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. That is Psalms 118 and let me not try to go by memory 118 24 when you're quoting the scriptures make sure you quote it correctly and so Psalms 118 23 and 24 it said, this was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. And also 
the mercy of God covered us. And certainly I'm sure you all have heard over and over again, Lamentations chapter three, uh, verses 22 through 24. Actually, I'm going to start reading it at verse 19. I remembered my affliction and my wanderingness, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope because of the Lord's mercies. We are not consumed for his compassions fail not. What's the next verse say? Lamentations 3.23. They are new every morning. His mercies are new every morning. And as my children and I went through that carbon monoxide poisoning episode, every morning that we were suffering with those headaches, his mercies were new every morning. Great was his and is his faithfulness to us that we may not have been where we should be in him, not crossing every T, not dotting every I, but he was still faithful to us. Each of us, myself and my son and my daughter, giving us new mercies every morning, guiding me into a conversation with someone who would give me the advice to go and get the carbon monoxide detector, to plug it in and to call for help. But he was a present help. In the time of trouble, he provided us with new mercies every morning. Great is his faithfulness unto us. And for that reason, we can say, just like Job's friend in Job 32 and 33, Elihu, he says in Job, one of my favorite scriptures, 33, Verses two through four. I am about to open my mouth. My words are on the tip of my tongue. My words come from an upright heart. My lips sincerely speak what I know. Why? Because the spirit of God has made me. The breath of the almighty gives me life. His breath give, gave us life during those days when our life could have been snuffed out. His breath in our lungs and that worship song as we pour out our praise to him, only him. He blesses us not only to quote scriptures and sing songs, but to live them, to experience the, the word of God in our lives. Not just in a sermon or in a song, but in our very life. We experienced his new mercies. We experienced the reality that his, it's his breath that's in our lungs. The Almighty breathes through us. As he has since the beginning in Genesis chapter 2 when he said, And God blew into the body of Adam before he, before he breathed any breath. The spirit of God breathed into his nostrils. And that's when Adam became a living soul. And so I'm going to read the poem one more time. Then I'm going to pl play a couple of uh, worship songs. Uh, but thank you for tuning in to Behind the Rhyme, where we don't just read the poem, but we share. I share with you the testimony, the scriptures, the story behind the rhyme. Another day, another chance is the name of the poem for today. And so I'm going to read it again. Another day, another chance for me to start my day. Another day, another chance in worship and in praise. Another day, another chance, a gift from God above. Another day, another chance, he'll prove to me his love. Another day, another chance for God to forgive sin. Another day, another chance to let Jesus come in. Another day, another chance to seek God out in prayer. Another day, another chance to cast on him every care. Another day, another chance to lift my voice and sing. Another day, another chance to give thanks in everything. 
another day, another chance to win lost souls for Christ. Another day, another chance to tell how he saved my life. Another day, another chance that Satan will have to flee. Another day, another chance that I have the victory. Another day, another chance, and if I should finish this race, another day, another chance to see his blessed face. Another day, another chance. Written by myself, Pat Middleton, but inspired by God Almighty. It is him that gives me the power to write the vision and to make it plain. It is him He's the gift giver. I may have the gift, but the gift came from him. Just like all my gifts, the gift of the Holy Ghost, the gift of teaching, the gift of exhortation and administration, all of my gifts, my children, my family, they all came and come from God Almighty. And for this, I give him praise. For this, I give him praise because his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Tune in every Saturday at 1230 for Behind the Rhyme with yours truly, Pat Middleton, where I share not only the poem, but the testimony, scriptures and stories behind the rhyme.